Okay, last time. The ridiculously long plot of Two River. Today. We start in Two River. We start in Two River. Two River continues. Two River. <laughs> day two in Two River. Actually, this is like day four. Like I said, uh, Sukiden 2 kind of moves at like a slower burn than the first game. The first game kind of condenses stuff real fast. I think the longest, like the actual longest plot in that is the, the, the elf dwarf plot. That one takes the, the other longest. racism plot. Yeah. The other racism plot. Uh, this one definitely moves at a slower burn than even that. Because why have one racism when you can have two? Multi-racism. Or, I guess, four at that point? Like I said, we uh we will have a another recruitment drive. <laughs> Butcher, you're fired. Fitcher joins. And I think here we pick up our two other... I think we don't actually get a message for one of them. But I think on the way out we should get another one. Yep, there he, there he be. And if you get the one, that means... Yeah, I know. Gotta go back in the sewer. Back to the sewers. So in the original version, there was a glitch that if you said absolutely not until he stopped repeating dialogue and then recruited him, he would come at level one. Huh. Which is, like, ba bad, but also kind of good, because you can do some shenanigans uh, to get him... Uh, to a real high level real fast, like, with the slingshot mechanic. Yep, there's... No actual message there, maybe it occurs when we get back to the castle, but we technically also recruit Ridley. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, remember to put on that chainmail armor you picked up from the war fights. Um, I may hold off on putting that on anybody just yet, okay. because, because we will probably swap out for a different team. Because I'm, I'm going to look at A, who I need to recruit people, and you know, all that, which means we got to use Chaco for a little bit. Yeah. Yay. Time to speed up boats. There's nothing happens on boats. Mm 
<laughs> God, we have a ton of money now. Yeah, no kidding. Which is nice because, you know, we'll, we'll swap out for some other people and then equip them. Yeah, so most of the gear that you have on people can probably be swapped to other people. Yeah, but that's tedious. Like, I don't know if you were here when I looked at it, but they actually somehow made the inventory system worse. Good stuff. Uh, by which I mean... Um, Did you throw a bunch of your runes into the storage? Yeah. Just for Are now. Are you not going to put them on people? Just for now. Until oh, I, okay. I figure out who I'm going to be using. Um, hey, Luck, you're still a jerk. Is he still oh, yeah, he, he's Luke, down there. Luke, whatever. Oh, shit, you know what it's time for? What? Oh, there's nothing in the suggestion box. What is this bullshit? How could this be? Hmm, I hope I don't actually start up an event here. I think at this point you can actually get a bunch of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. That that actually finishes the event, and then it's you know, come back in the morning. Oh, hey. New bed. You know what that means, baby. Castle level two. We got a balcony. Oh! And that. <laughs> oh dear. What did I miss? Hold on. Does that happen every time? It's what happened every time? Moko Moko. Oh. It does. Come on! I see you have your resident sniper in the house. Mm hmm. I should bring Clive. You probably should. Show off a good snipe boy at least once. Yeah, and now that, you know, the kobolds have joined us, there are random kobolds walking around. Uh, it's a nice thing that the game does that as you progress and you know do st certain uh, story points and all that your your house actually fills out with different NPCs house your fort the castle oh so the people you need to bring I looked it up you need Gen Gen and Chaco okay you know what I do need I need to look. I need. I need to talk to Richmond. Look at he's this still, guy's outfit. He's still amazing. Apparently, Richmond is so apparently, Muku Muku is six years old. What? <laughs> His position in the castle is special forces. What? <laughs> Listen, when you can fly, you're special. <laughs> Enough. I mean, a six-year-old squirrel, he must be, like, ancient at that point. Mm -hmm. Get me more information on secret agent squirrel. <laughs> That's fair. I, I can't argue with that idea. By the way, as you're uh, going to and from places, please be using run away and let go to make things a little bit easier for you. Mm -hmm. Or just auto-depending. No, actually need to be using let go or run away for a special reason. Right, right. Gross. <laughs> I... How have you discovered this? Also, yeah, this, this part of the, uh... The building wasn't here before. 
Yeah, the place is under uh, yeah. renovation. Also, a typo in Yoshino's. Someone getting their. Yep. An old man's getting a checkup. And uh, Tuda's learning on the job. And here is the uh, the barracks. Yeah, Gilbert moves to the barracks. That's right. That's why I was like, I don't remember Gilbert being where he was, and that's because he's it's usually. Because he isn't usually. Yeah, he's usually in the barracks. Makes sense for a mercenary. Oh, mm -hmm. and this is the church. We. I, oh no, the library. Which is where Templeton moves to. Yep. And also where all your old documents go, if I remember correctly. Eventually, once you recruit... Re recruit? Mm -hmm. What? Once you recruit... Uh, the, uh, the bookmen. For now, they stay where they belong. In storage. In, in, in storage. Yeah, so that whole left side just didn't exist before. As you can see, this road is new here, and that's what I like about yep. the, the, the castle in 2 compared to the castle in 1. In 1, it just, like, sort of adds rooms a little bit, but, like, holy crap, this one adds so much more. Also, because I know of a thing that's coming up, I just grab some recipes. Okay. Uh, you're saying Chaco and Gengen are the only ones I need? Yes. I'm just gonna double-check. I'm just gonna, uh, cross-reference that with mine. Uh, yep, yep. Uh-huh. Chaco, Gengen. Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. 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 Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Alright. The next one is, uh... I mean, there's a bunch of people that are going to be able to of get course. picked up here. Yeah. Who the hell is Tony? Well, we'll find out. Guy, yeah. Can get fight hard. So? Let's throw in some new people. Actually, let's throw in Bolgan. <laughs> Bolgan hasn't had a chance to do things for a while. Yeah. Bolgan never had a chance to do things. It's true. He was basically... I think you said you're going to yeah, bring along Clive. Yeah. Eh, Mada hasn't had a chance. There we go. Has Sai ever actually been in your party? Uh, who? Yeah, who are you talking about there, Vinay? Sai. Sai? You're cut. You're cutting out something fierce. Hang on, I'll type it in the chat. Also, yeah, I think changing the servers was bad because now there's a bit of badness on your voice. Weird. No, it's I, I changed the uh, hold up. I changed the server for Discord. So yeah, I was in the party for just a little bit when we first got him. But oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used him for a bit. Rikimaru was in our party for... He was. No. Yeah, yeah. He was in the party for the ruins. And then dog. There he is. Beat and rune on him eventually, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, right. Amada's a front bar boy. Oh, the Suikoden version of Gaston. <laughs> eh, whatever, we'll just...
What? Oh. Oh, right. See, that's why you don't strip everyone in this one. The, uh, the holy box actually has a limit. Ah, there you go. It's okay, just put a bunch of gear on the new people and uh, just don't take people uh, gear off people anymore. Yep. I'm gonna sell some of the really bad stuff in here. Eh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, like this, oh god, this interface is bad. Now I remember. Yeah, like, it, at, at some point in there, yeah, it doesn't, okay, hold up, we got, yep, we can't do it this way, holy crap, this interface sucks, how did you make the interface worse? What happened? So, uh, while you're trying to equip people, mm -hmm. it will equip it, but it doesn't tell you it's equipping it. Oh god. Like, literally all they had to do was copy and paste this interface that I'm using right now. The, the one that they that you use in your inventory, and it would have been fine. But they didn't. They did this weird interface where it's like, I guess maybe it's working? geared up yeah we'll, we'll, we'll get there pretty fast uh, luckily the if you're trying to equip from the inventory uh, the system is pretty all right but who boy just, you, know. you 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 cannot at all equip from the the the, the, the main storage. storage of your equipment anymore like at all it's the interface is just that bad Okay, there we go. And then... At least, like, yeah. All I have to do is I just have to remove stuff. And that's pretty alright. And then I just gotta trim it down once it's in the inventory. Well, the armor's fine to keep, so is wind shields. Get rid of some boots, capes, all the capes are fine, leggings, get rid of that. And there. We fixed it. We fixed the problem. Let's look at the main row. Let's see if that's improved at all. Oh hell yeah! We got new buildings. So we have an armor shop now. And right, right. You should check in on with him. Yep. Oh, Since, you know. and that is the nice thing, is that you can actually equip anybody from the armor shop. That is real nice. I'm not going to stress it out right now. 
No. Because I have pretty good gear but on the people you that can. bring it. All right, finally. Oh, wait, fuck. Pit, wait. No, I'm going to go down this list. Okay, so our first stop is actually the kitchen in our base. Wait, did the... Yeah, it actually changed on the map as well to reflect those additions. Neat! Which, which there's some stuff that we haven't even looked at yet. Huh. We have a farm. Oh, yeah. Which comes into play. Oh, right. We also have the bath. The bath is very underwhelming right now. Oh, yeah. Look, we haven't fixed it up proper yet. And then if I fast forward... <laughs> Because you do actually need a nice soak in there. I think? I thought there was a visual change eventually. I like that Clyde doesn't take his fucking hood off. Yeah, okay. The skin tone. They slowly become redder. Oh, wait. There we go. Remodel. There we go. Alright. Yeah, okay. That's nicer. I wasn't in there long enough to get Toasty. Toasty is very tedious to get, apparently. No, oh, what's this? Is something strange happening? Oh boy! Finally. It's time! Look how happy this guy is to cook. This man is so thrilled. Iron Chef China. Oh no. Oh, hang on. I know what it's time for. <laughs> it's time to link this guy's character art. <laughs> I don't need you. Io Look, fucking rules. He does. I believe you can also deploy him in, like, RPG battles, because, of course, you're going to bring your chef into combat. And now, talking about fucking expanding part of the, the goddamn castle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> By the way, this is where Zamsa hangs out. This... <laughs> I, I'd be less surprised if Rick and Maru hung out here, to be honest. Hana's here. And then, yeah. He's back here flipping his walk. And then you give, you give him the recipes, and you have to make the menu. Which you The can't... man works with admirable speed. Yeah, you can't actually make the menu until you have the resources. So right now, all we can have is a menu of nothing but fish. Because that's the only thing we have in stock. Right. That said, fish We also have no spices. Yeah, fish is a 350 heal. So it's very, it's still pretty good. Back here. Where we just, this is where the clothes are. It, how do you get to the farm? I legit cannot remember how to get to the farm. Yeah, pretty much all it is is you can't put something on the menu if you don't have the ingredients for it, which the ingredients are tied to uh, other recruitables and what have you. Um, wait, there's another floor? Oh, right, right, right this is the cobalt floor. This is the floor of the two kobolds. Um, and also, like, okay, so there's two recruitables. There's one that's a farmer, and there's one that does livestock. And when you recruit each of them, you get one of each. And then you find additionals of those 
uh, all around the world. Fish requires you to actually go fishing. No. You only have to catch one of each, or four of each type in order to max your stuff out. <laughs> one of each, I mean four of each type, you know, nothing big. Yeah, it's it's a little tedious, but once it's, oh, there's Ulan. Ulan, has given, through that adventure, has given herself a strong presence as maybe showing up again later. Oh yeah. In a party. Yeah, you also get a very small amount of money from doing the kitchen, because all the people visit your kitchen and buy from it. Mm -hmm. It turns out, Hayo is a better chef than his um, strange introduction would have you suspect. Also, newbie, have you put Hayo in your party yet? No, not yet. That's wow. a later. That's a later goof. <laughs> Thanks for that Yoko Taro link, Argo. <laughs> Please, it's true. Please tell me what. Look, the... where do you think he got it from? Oh right, I forgot that Chaco Clive and Amada actually come pretty decked out. For whatever insane. Reason. Well, because Clive is an import character. All right. Chaco and Amada, we don't have an explanation for. And their equipment is actually honed up beyond where you have your stuff honed up. Yeah. Too. All right. Let's see if. I can do How the damage. could you have had the stuff? Wait, all Clive that was in one? No, yeah, no, no. Cl Clive was in oh, one. Oh, yeah, yeah, Clive is. Yeah. I did not yeah. know that. He shows up in one. There he is. I don't know if you have enough yet. Let's find out. Hey, Stallion. I was in one, but I could be wrong. Yep, Stallion was also in one. Oh, yeah. He actually plays a storyline role in one in that. The only reason that all the elves aren't dead is because Stallion ran some of them out of the village. And by some, you mean two. Yes. Homeland in five is, like, entirely separate from the one in one. Because Sulfalena isn't actually adjacent to... Oh, hey. You, you would let go enough people that you could do it. Well, I can do the race. Yeah. I need to do. I need to run twenty six more times. There's no cutscene. It's just you lose. Oh, gotcha. Well, you can run twenty six more times while you're going to go get other people. Yep. Yep. We will return and conquer Stallion later. Uh, to Lake West. I was counting himself as one of the two L's he saved when he was running away. <laughs> Look talent. Unfortunately, it's not a particularly good talent for saving people other than himself. Eh. Or people who probably weigh, and let's be honest, like 60 pounds. Come on, give me one more before we go. Okay. He also weighs about 60 pounds, so... Yeah, he's probably a little bit heavier than that, but still. He probably weighs at least, you know, 75 because of that nose. Also, you know, all that running away has very heavily developed his calves and so forth. Mm -hmm. Cool. Sharpen Gloove. Oh, Gloove. Probably should sharpen your main character's weapon, too. Yes. Oh, wait, you can't. Yeah. That That is a thing that you absolutely Good cannot forget to do. It will prevent you from winning the game at some point. Sword is good now. Mm-hmm. Did it actually change to the name Good Sword? Yes, I think the... the I, if I remember right, the progression is Sword, Good Sword, and Very Good Sword. Gengen is good. Oh, yes, the legendary sword. Very good it's... sword. Uh, there's also a character who has the weapon progression book belt, new book belt, and new book belt of love. We might meet that character tonight. Yeah, she's, uh, she's coming up. Whether that's a good thing or not is open to it debate. Isn't. Fortunately, one of the characters also shows up there is actually pretty rad. Yeah, well, we'll we'll see when we get there. Oh, it's great oh. sword. Ah, oh, I think I, I really hope hurt. that Gengen's sprite changes to him wielding the dragon slayer from Berserk when you get there. Uh, I might be thinking of the first game, which I think the third weapon is called the Very Good Sword. Yeah, Gon's weapons. Yep, Back at it again. It's time for crime. Oh boy, more crime. Oh 
god, no. Because that went so well last time. Did did we fail miserably at crime? Crime took ten minutes last time. Oh my lord. <laughs> also, folks, please please picture all of Shiloh's dialogue in I don't know a Brooklyn accent or something. <laughs> of course. You know how it works. Mm-hmm. Uh, on loan to this game from West Side Story or something. I don't know. <laughs> Back at it again. Oh, boy. <laughs> Back in the crime cell. <laughs> Wait, oh crime my two. god. The oh my name. fucking god. Did he instantly win? Did he storm? No, he got another six. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, luckily, uh, as it turns out, I had to be hitting the first option anyway. All right. The return of crime. All right, he got a two that time. You might win. I also got a two. Well, never mind. <clears throat> oh my god, just fucking... Crime four, bride of crime. Uh, okay, he got no score. These dice are yeah, cursed. <laughs> I request a new set of die. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, can we get this gas? This could go on for a while. Can we just get gas, Marvac? <laughs> the crime from 50,000 fathoms. Oh, okay, that's one win. Fuck it. I, I'm, I, red eye I have suffered crime enough last session. I am safe stating right there. <laughs> uh, roll three dice. If you get a double, your number is the third. If you roll, I think, one, two, three, or four, five, six... Four, what? five, six, you win. One, two, three, you lose. Yeah, one, I think. one, one two, three, you pay double... Four, five, six, you get paid double. Three of a kind is you get paid triple unless it's three ones, then you pay out In triple. Case. Huff. Three of a kind. Uh... But it was three ones. Dear. Oh, thank the maker. Mm -hmm. uh, we welcome Crumb on loan from Dragon Age. Listen, I'll pray to whichever to make that go faster. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nope. We have not gotten to Hicks and Tengar. We are free from that bull Yeah, crap. This is a big chunk where Newbie gets a bunch of characters and a, a handful of very, very good characters that can totally mm -hmm. be used in the next section show up now. After 10,000 potch, we're finally free. Okay. We got two more in Two River. Now, unfortunately, Fen... Fenir? Yeah, Fenir. Sorry. The green Fefnir. text Fefnir? is a little hard. Fefnir? Oh, Fefnir. There we go. Text is a little hard to read. Hmm. Um, I, I got the green name tag auto-generated for that one. Anyway, um... Unfortunately, crime is not as good of a way to get money this time. You can only do 3k, and I don't think you can double up. Commerce instead. Yeah. I instead, we can do capitalism. Which is amazing. Do the sewers. Hooray. But first, it's time to pick up a child. In the sewers. The, the the winger section is before the sewer or before the sewer cold. child. The winger. Well, sewer. it's the sewer. It's the sewer creepazoid. This this See. guy is absolutely horrifying. 
There's, there there's is no one really that. good thing about Sid, and we're going to be seeing it very shortly. Does Amada have a unite with some? Uh, he might have a unite with somebody else. Hold up. Possibly the other boatman. Hold, yeah, hold on a sec. We need to do many, many levels. <laughs> Right, we need Gengen to level up a skillion times. Also, Clive. Clive is, uh, I think one of the best range, I think he is the best range damage dealer. Alright, unfortunately I can let go, and as much as I want to get people leveled up. You, you have more important things to do, which is mm. let go. <laughs> uh, the your main character is level like 30 something, right? Yep. Good. Yeah, yeah. The fucking battle intro, like, sting, it sounds like the noise it makes when you enter a warp, key, like a key warp, in uh, Super Mario World. World? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bam. Wing. Gengen does not get HP, does he? No. Uh, I'm sorry, but Gengen is not a super great character. <sighs> but dog. I believe in Gengen. Actually, uh, that's not entirely true. Uh, I think characters' stats start to really skyrocket and they're gross once they hit about 15 to 20, so you might be getting better then. Wait, who on this team has a rune? Does Clive Ryu? have a rune? Yes. I th no, Amada does. No, one of the two does. Clive's one of those characters you set up with the killer and double beat combo, and you just start laughing as he takes people apart. Mm -hmm. Clive has a fire rune. Weird. He should not have it after this. I'm gonna yes. be honest. Clive Attack is not a caster. Fire rune. Yeah, I might steal that on the way out. Yes. Ooh, oh boy. Clive. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's right. I need to uh, pull up character art for the man we are about to acquire. The only thing I like about Sid is he uses a scythe as a weapon. Other thing about Sid, which is that he terrorizes Chaco. <laughs> so, what? Oh, as much as I, like, this guy creeps me the heck out, he's actually really good in combat. But more importantly, he terrorizes the shitlord kid. Oh, yeah. And after this, this kid all that hate stuff. Him. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. No, well, no, I can hate it because it's really creepy. But at the same time, it it's happening to a person who bugged the crap out of me, so it's not sweet as vindication. Yeah. <laughs> the what? What <laughs> is the greatest option? Ah, oh, Sid. <laughs> We're kind of bad for like five minutes. <laughs> Sid is a magical experience. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Instant come up and <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Fortunately, now he will kill men for us. So, there's that to get on with. Please do not force yourself into the party. Good. Please force yourself into the party. <laughs> I, I, I really wish the game had played, like, a really off-tune version of the <laughs> character in general. Many strong men await you. We, we did it? Question. I, I guess we did it. 
Y yeah. You recruited. That was... That's okay. something, alright. <laughs> that made me <laughs> happier than I wish to admit. Oh, yeah, this can go real well with Clive using that rune. I'm pretty sure he's flicking you off when he casts the spell. Like, I really should not be doing this. <laughs> and yet... Oh, I can't unsee that now. And yet... Why are you making me do this? This is not something I should be doing. I don't even what know why is I have this? this thing. What are those? Curious as to what newbie is reacting to. What are you talking bit. about? They're land sharks. It says right there. Oh man, <laughs> land shark! Oh yeah. Is is there a problem here? Yep. Welcome to Suikoden Two, folks. This is basically <laughs> all the enemies. Oh, I forgot the other thing that's really annoying about Chaco is this fucking attack animation is like five days long. All right. Holy shit! Land sharks are formidable. <laughs> yeah, five seconds long, so the land shark saw it coming. It's like, hold on a second. Then wait, just jump. Wait. wait. <laughs> oh, this keeps happening, and it's glorious. Amato, on the other hand, just walks up and clunks at the door. Uh, we were almost out. You just let go. Oh, Unless can't. they're land sharks. Worse. Time for grit battle oath. Or, no, not the battle oath. Just, just hit him. Yeah, just, just hit him many times. Yeah. I'll probably use Clive's gun on the next attack. Like five, five enemies, even if it only does about 50 damage, is still pretty good damage. Hey, 70. He's not terrible with that rune. I think these I guys mean, are weak to fire. That's the problem. Base damage. And these guys are weak to fire. Well, we'll find out in a moment. Move. Holy the crap, way. yeah, they are. Lasers! They are extremely weak to fire. Yeah, so if he's barely doing, you know, any kind of real damage. Christ. Also, more custom sprite animation. <laughs> Since I'm pretty sure Bulgan is the only person in the game with a fire breath rune. Yep. Yes. It's hard stapled to him. I'm pretty sure it's not a rune, it's just a thing he can do. In the... No, it's a rune. It's a rune. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. It is the fire breath rune. He can only breathe fire because of a rune attached to his hand. Are you sure he did possibly just the rune? <laughs> it, it, genuinely, he might. It might be. I'm also not sure he ever gets a second slot. I don't think he does either. He but... doesn't get spell slots. No, he actually does nope. get spell slots. It just Maybe doesn't matter. like level 50 something, he gets another spell slot or a uh, rune slot. You don't need it. He yeah, just really I'd... doesn't need it. Yeah. Is a battle capable character? By the way, Ryu has a second uh, rune slot. Yeah. It's ah. it's basically just gonna be. Uh... Give him the friendship rune. <laughs> yes. Gobacha. Yeah, friendship rune goes on a weapon. Oh, never mind then. Gobacha. Gabocha? <clears throat> Gabocha! <laughs> or Gorbachev, or <laughs> whatever. Let's see. Pretty sure he just follows you. Accurate. <laughs> recruited. A kobold child has recruited a second kobold child. 
great. If there is no indication that Gengen is young. Who knows? Anyway, that's two more people for the group. Yeah, like I think I said during first recruitment chain that uh, recruitments are a bit more like involved into. Yeah. Yep. It's not just walk up to person, join me. Okay. I mean, you'll worry. often have to fuck around. And... All right, so you need to. I'm looking at the list right now. I need to head to West. the gate between Muse and Green Hill. When you get back to Lake West, you actually need to go to the end because you'll meet two people there as well. Yep, and they're familiar faces, so bring Flick and Victor. Nah, you don't need to worry about that. It's all dimes. You probably don't get extra dialogue. But it's worth seeing. And also, Flick and Victor are rad as hell. Accurate. Yeah, Forest Village near here? Man, I don't uh, <laughs> I have no idea. Well, time for some fast forward map action. What does the tech stat do? Chain secret. That would explain why Clive has not I'm, I'm looking at a growth list. Kabocha is uh, 10 years old. There you go. This is Drake Mouth. Uh, let go. There you go. Where is the fucking forest? Oh, you know, we have a boy in the castle with a map. We can learn where the forest village is. Mm-hmm. Also, I'm going to hold off on that Lake West thing until... I mean... Uh, we... Wait... Yeah, we're here. Let's just do that part. Yeah, why not? Two people arguing. Quite familiar. Mm hmm. Tengar returns and doesn't look like she has ridiculous bags under her eyes anymore. Did she used to? You should look up the artwork for one. All right. Actually, you know, I will do exactly that. And also Hicks, because he's glued to her. Wow, there's some... Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. The dark outlines. Very much. Especially, like, the scale they used for it. It does not work well. Um... So, these two uh, are all so faces yes. from the original game. Uh... They were pretty plot important, actually. So it was really exciting to see them the f show up in this game after seeing them in the first one. Uh, oh. I don't think they're necessarily as crazy good as they were in the first. Well, she's not as good as she used to be in the first one, <laughs> but they're both good. Apparently, you do have people from the first game. There you go. Huh? Welp. <laughs> Hi, no. you don't remember me. It's okay. Yeah, they probably I'm coming into... along to make sure he doesn't chicken out. They probably ran into each other at least once in the castle. Mm-hmm. Say Flick and Victor, who uh I'm pretty sure everyone knows Victor because Victor is loud enough that you can't avoid knowing Victor. <laughs> Alright. To the Cobalt Village. Yeah, so, uh, Tengar is a pretty competent mage. She was part of your endgame team in the first game. Yep. Um, not as good in this game because magic isn't as completely broken. If only because you get more than one room slot. Yeah, flex mm -hmm. uh, in the first game, uh, several mages had access to a lot more, like, third and fourth level spells just because there was only one room they could use. So, because of that, some characters, when they got uh, hit by flexibility, uh, they lost a lot of spell slots, and she's one of them. Yep. She's uh, still really good, but there are other people who are better than she is. Hicks... Alright, we're going on an adventure to Kobold Village. Yeah. Hicks was not fantastic in the first game. I don't know how he holds up in this better one. Better in this one? Yeah. He's 
he's a dodge tank, I think. I'll throw I'll throw Hicks and Tengar in a party together at some point. Well, there's a point later on in the game where you need to use certain uh, party people, and those two fit the bill. Nice. Sounds like a bother. As an aside, uh, what was it? Scale of what is it? One to Mueller from Suikoden 5. How good a dodge tank is he? Well, Mueller's a special case. But <laughs> Hicks is uh, just durable and also can dodge things via shield and all the other stuff. So he's pretty good. I don't think he's right. like the best. but Yeah, he's one of ten people who can use a shield. Sure enough. Tengar has ideas about what being a real man entails. <laughs> These may or may not dovetail with anybody else's ideas. Yep. Very soon, we can recruit a barrel. Our dreams of barrel ownership will soon come true. <laughs> I think I used the barrel once and was like, mm, mm, no. <laughs> that is the correct the response. Line. Yeah, no, who cares? <laughs> the barrel has problems. Barrel. Zane Zero, a barrel. Yep. A barrel. We'll I'll, see. I will, I will post the art when we get there, as I have been for a while. Oh, although I missed Gabochas, so uh, give me a second. And I will pull that right up. Kubocho is great because he uses a slingshot. A slingshot. <laughs> Heir to the fine Soga King tradition. <laughs> Island of snipers, you know. <laughs> she seems really angry. Did we just wake up at a table covered in wine glasses? Pretty yeah. much. Huh. It's too early for this. <laughs> Back to the wine glasses with us. Damn those warrior boys. They drive me to drink. The curse of the unicorn. <laughs> Nothing suspect here. Just uh -huh. the curse of the unicorn. This is fantastic. This goes on for a bit. You may wish to check out mentally a little red eye flight. It doesn't help that the elder at Kobold Village is kind of senile and keeps forgetting his lines. Hicks joins the party. Goodbye, Chaco! <laughs> Pretty sure Hicks is a front range or front character, so gotta put him up there. Board and so forth. Yep, good old sword border. Uh, 
<laughs> I forgot how long this goes on for. Oh, yeah. Like I said, Red Eye Flight may wish to check out for a while. It's okay. While you're doing this, you can probably run into the rest of the people that you need to recruit. Yeah. Have you figured out where Forest Village is yet? It's probably over under the right somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. I should probably do that. Hang on. Um, so we're getting two. Give me that map. Play it on the game. Ahem. Uh, Cobalt Village. South Tinto. Okay, it's past Green Hill. Like it's. All right, then it must. That from must Two be. River. Uh, north past Green Hill and west to Forest Village. All right, then that must be next story. Thing, then. Perhaps. Yeah, probably. It's weird because the listing thing suggests getting Hicks and Tengar after Forest Village. Yeah. You might just be able to walk over there. Maybe. You you know you may not necessarily have to go to Green Hill. Yeah, Green Hill might be boarded up, but you can just walk past it. Mm. Besides, you have to head back in that general direction anyway, as soon as you buy the blue ball. Oh no. What? Well, that's weird. That just happened. Hicks, you dumbass. I like to imagine he's just playing along. <laughs> no, he's not. He's I not. Know. He's really dumb. I think he's more blinded by certain aspects of what's going on. It's, yeah, blinded by the fact that he's really dumb. Yeah. I've been blinded by the fact that I was really dumb before. Yeah, whenever we play 13th Age. <laughs> or anything else. Oh, you know what? I haven't taken a look at him. He has a certain rune on, I think. What is exertion? I think it just means that he hurts himself a little bit to boost his stats. Huh. Nope, I'm wrong. Uh, it just boosts your stats by 20, your attack by uh, 20%, and then every round it goes up by an additional 20%. So huh. as the fight goes on, he gets stronger. He revs up. That's a really good rune. Yeah, I think it might be stapled to him. Probably. Most people who come with weapon or runes on their weapons are stapled to them, i.e. Uh, Freed and Amada. Which, speaking of which, I should pick up an Earth rune at some point. Really haven't shown off Earth. You're not missing anything. Doesn't hurt to show off. Anyway, let's point. see if we can get to the forest village. The forest v village? Village. 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 Forest village. Forest village. We did this whole Russian thing. It's fine. I guess it was already mentioned this early. I did not know that. If you ask uh, Richmond to investigate them, uh, he will mention they are from the Queendom of Felena. Who? Uh, Lorelei. Yeah. It's, yeah. You, you do meet her there in Suikoden in 5, which takes place in the Queendom of Felena. <laughs> so, Red Eye Flight, 
you may need to get another 13th age group, but if you do, by all means, make sure it's not like our 13th age group because we have... Um... Entirely too much fun? Yes, correct. Let Crumb explain this one. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just, we are very creative with what we do, and that can be a good thing and a bad thing. I still feel bad about that Minotaur. Um, fair I enough. I take 10% of the responsibility for that one. Yeah. At least. I don't know if I hit up this item shop. I measure my success in that 13th Age campaign by the times I have provoked a stunned silence <gasps> that lasts at least two seconds, and right now my count is at two. I'm going to recount. Really? You, you're looking for an Earth Rune and it's found, found in the rare finds. Come on. I'm going to recount uh, a tale while we're doing this because there's going to be a lot of running around. Mm -hmm. of, um, oh, man. The... Vicky, where are you? Oh, thank you for the bits. Uh, of the time that <laughs> Vinay actually <laughs> rendered me remarkably, <laughs> not speechless, but I think have has gotten the biggest response out of me Ever. Um, so, Thirteenth Age has a mechanic where, because uh, <laughs> it has like their their like pseudo deities, and uh, at the beginning of sessions or like adventures and what have you, uh, you roll a bunch of die, and uh, one through sixes don't do one through fours. Uh, don't do anything unless you have something and then like ones do do things for you um, bad things uh, sixes it gives you a die that you can expend at any point during uh, things and it will uh, just let you succeed at things that you normally like you would have to make a really hard roll for or just allow you to do like extraordinary things, um, specifically for, related to the uh, to, the to great the, figure that they're yeah the figure. To. Uh, for instance, I play paladin, and there's the priestess. And recently, I've been using priestess die to sort of manifest a holy power, not unlike a stand, um, to do extraordinary things such as pry open a door. Uh, I missed a jump attack once, and I actually used it to catch myself after I'd already flown past. Uh, but those are just a couple of examples. Now, fives. Fives allow you to do the same thing, except there will be a complication. Vinay's character is a mage, and more of like a mage scholar. Also, again, another very awkward scene here. Uh, and Vinay's character which from this point will be referred to as Theo because that is the character's name um, Theo created a magic item which in our universe it should be pretty much impossible in like it requires the soul fiction. of a, a living creature <laughs> yes in our fiction uh, magic items are very hard or near impossible to do and Vinay did it so started sending messages to the Archmage detailing how he made a magic item with fives multiple times at which point one session we didn't start where we ended the previous session because we were captured by the wizard police Which resulted in a number of things, and was pretty much like the next two or three sessions, was us escaping from wizard jail. You're too good at this magic item making thing. Go to wizard jail, do not pass go. Fast pretty forward, much exactly that. Fast forward to like five or <laughs> six or maybe like a half a year later, where Vinay utters the line... I'm using a five with the Archmage. Our DM says, okay, what are you doing? I want a book on blood magic. To which I responded, what is your fucking problem? Ah. <laughs> 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 oh. 
good times that campaign. <laughs> oh my goodness, that campaign has... We've actually been compiling a document, which as it just reminded me, I need to update of... Basically, anytime somebody says something that's so funny, we feel the need to write it down, either in our Skype log or, in this case, in our Discord log. Uh, I've been copying them to a file, and some of them get pretty goofy. <laughs> and at this point, the file is, oh, I don't know, five or six pages long. Mm. I should actually check at some point. Campaign's been going on for a bit. Mm hmm. Since 2013, I think. And every yep. other week, and there have been long, long gaps, so. Oh, this fight's actually gonna be a bit, isn't it? Who knows? Holy crap, these enemies attack a lot. Oh, I remember the one random armadillo man. Yeah, that's the Mark of the Wizard Pioneer. So, for reference, folks, uh, the character concept I initially pitched to the GM was Theoretical Wizard. And for the first very long time, all the feats I took were as heavily meta magic as I could make them, which meant that virtually all my problem solving didn't involve actually doing damage. Worked, mind you, because I got creative with the things I did, but uh, that for a while the man, this armadillo is dunking people. Uh, it meant that for a while the campaign was kind of a strange animal. <sighs> I stick my staff Eventually. in the fires of creation. My staff in the fires of creation was the first time the in rest of the group, including the GM, let the Skype call go dead silent for like a period of something like six or seven seconds so that I was genuinely worried that I dropped the call. The fires of creation being like an actual thing and not a metaphor in this uh, campaign. She's totally Explo sick, guys. <laughs> She's really sick. She's really sick. <laughs> uh, Explosion Wizard is a slightly overplayed niche, I feel, Amiga Lupus. I mean, you say that. The other main caster of the party <laughs> is an Explosion Wizard. The other main caster of the party is an extremely lost Dwarven Merchant. <laughs> Is a dwarven merchant who's been cursed to always have explosions around him. Among other things. Magic has made his whiskey flask into his familiar. Well, while you're over in Two Rivers, why don't you try to uh, go beyond it and go to the forest village? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. <sighs> well... If I was going to post any quote from this, uh... Actually, you know what? I hate to just cut... But fucking, I forgot how long Hicks and Tiger is... I gotta split a video. I can't do another, like, fucking hour and 40 minute video. Fair Why not? enough. Because... That is true. Take a break here if it's necessary. Yep. Next time we finish up this nonsense. Do we? Probably? Probably.